What's up dudes, Chooch back with another video and today we're looking at these two bad boys right here. So we're looking at the Inmotion V11 and the Kingsong S18 of course. These things are sweet so I've had time to really test both of them. Uh, the Inmotion V11 man, this wheel is something else and man the S18 is something else. But I'm telling you what, they are completely different approaches um, at suspension. And we need to talk at uh, some different points on these things and how they ride. I guess my cat's gonna help me out as well. Looking at this right here. So on the side right here, this made all the difference in the world. When I first got this, when I first got the uh, Inmotion V11, there was about 180 PSI, I think like 180 or something like that, PSI in both chambers. So 180 on, on each side. Lowered the air pressure down to about 80. And I, I don't think I'm bottoming it out. Uh, so I'm not bottoming out uh, this wheel over uh, the S18, not bottoming out that wheel. I got about 30 uh, millimeters of travel, but this is just harder to tell because there's no O-ring. And that wheel, you can put an O-ring on the back and you can really tell if you're bottoming your wheel out or not, you know? With this, there's really, there's no really way to know exactly what's going on. So uh, I got it where it feels about right though. But the thing is, when I first got on this wheel, with it being a little bit higher, uh, if, if you wanted to use a, s a suspension wheel in a fun manner, so this wheel just right out the bat, off the bat, is just set up for a um, wheel that's going to be for somebody. If you get this wheel as your first wheel, and you ever move from the in motion over to any wheel that doesn't have suspension, you're going to have a poor riding posture. I'm telling you. So if you get this wheel as your first wheel, you would just say develop a crummy riding posture, and you're just going to uh, not respect what other wheels are like. You know, you don't want to go from this to something else. But granted, if you're a guy coming from any other wheel, if you've had the um, hard life of uh, no suspension wheels, you can go to this and just respect what you're getting, and then go back to your other wheel just fine. I think. It did need pads. So what I did right here on the side is I pretty much did exactly, so you see, this is just a little cutout right here so your shoe can fit under here. I'll show you what I mean by it. So this is just a little cutout in here and your shoe, basically the way I designed it, uh, this is the wrong foot of course, but your shoe fits under this. Um, if, 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 it's the, if I grabbed the right shoe and it was actually the right foot, um, you would see that it was perfect. I lined it up perfect in here and you can really get a lot of grip under here. These pads have held up, so this stuff is great for experimenting with uh, making, making pads. And if this was my wheel, I would just go to the arts and crafts store and make something perfect for what I needed. And this made all the difference in the world right here. So if you want to preload, you can put your uh, foot under here and really get a grip. Your, uh, I put this pad right here and you can see the wear on the top right there uh, for where I was really grabbing. So these are the points of contact that was, before I put this on here, this was all slick. So this was just straight, that was just straight uh, plastic. And what would happen is, so this wheel, it didn't, have, it literally would, would when, when I tried to hop with it, I mean, I would just jump up in the air. I just jump, you know, and I just would slide straight up. There's nothing to grab on this wheel until I put this on here. And it was night and day difference. Night and day difference putting these pads on here. Uh, Inmotion V11 was absolutely rocking with this setup. But without this, you're not going to get the full potential. Literally, if you, if you wanted to preload for a jump on this thing, and say with this, this gives you kind of room for error in a weird way. So if you want to preload for a jump or whatever, you can kick this thing in the air. With the without pads on the side of this thing, you you have to be so precise if you want to hit any jump. You literally have to go just hit it and float with it and hope you hit it at the ideal speed to keep it right with your feet and gracefully go through the air. There is nothing to hold on to whatsoever. With the with the S18 over here, this thing is just like a uh, BMX bike, you know, where you can get in the air and then you have judgment once you're in the air. You know, you can with these Kuji pads, man, and the way this thing is just. The way you can lock in on this bad boy, there's so many points of contact. Right here, where your foot goes in, you got a point of contact right there where you see that wear spot. Right here is where you're really gripping hard with your thighs. And then even up here is another point of contact. So this is just made so much better for um, um, once you're in the air with this thing, you can guide it around. This thing, once you're in the air with it, it's going to do what it wants to do in the air. You know, there's not much room until you add pads you know but i think um they, 
just in the, the this is going to be the most simple thing in the world. If somebody, it's not going to be really 3D printed. It's just going to be something neoprene, easy that goes right on here, and then you've got simple pads right there on your V11. So uh, it's it's just going to be some. I mean, anybody can make it. I made this in literally I think four minutes for both sides. The other side is not cut perfectly, nice as neat as this, but uh, it works exactly the same. So one other thing that I did notice um, on the bottom. So both of these have both these wheels right here at the bottom, you see sharp edge, sharp edge, uh, sharp edge, sharp edge, sharp edge. Ah, just clips like rocks. You can easily clip rocks with both these wheels. Um, with, with this one, more so um, with the V11 when I was riding trails, typical trails and stuff, I felt like I was really clipping right here. And I felt like if I kept riding rocky trails, I'd really ding up this uh, lower bracket right here. Um, with this, your batteries are actually right here, and this is like a case around it as well. So, um, with both these wheels, you need to be careful with rocks. I live in the Rocky Mountains, so literally every trail I ride is just rocks, rocks, rocks everywhere. But there is just rocks everywhere here. So, um, that's one thing, and I think that's one thing I'll only deal with really on my trails. It's just rocks everywhere. And um, that's where the M Super shines, really. The M Super like Pro, just with those high winged up pedals you know and nothing really under here to clip it's low it's just a little bit um these are great off-road but there is a, an advantage you know that's just one thing you got to think about this bad boy so if you're on like all right so where this this wheel really really shine and um i'll show you is like if you're riding just like a, a dirt road if you're riding just a uneven just a just a hell of a road you know i'm talking just potholes everywhere whatever this thing, you're kind of just floating, you know, you're floating along with it, and you're, you just feel like you can go really, really fast on this thing. Fast, like super, super fast on the V11 on, um, like, just, just bumpy, bumpy, terrible roads. I mean, I, there's a road um, near me that's just the snow every year. The snow gets in the cr I mean, it just puts potholes everywhere. Uh, you know if you live somewhere where it, it snows a lot, the roads just get torn to hell, and the snow plows, everything like that. This thing... On a wheel where I don't, I don't even ride my um, M Supers down this road because it just beats me and the axles. Like it just beats me up. You know, it's just not worth it. So I'll just take the bike path instead. Um, with this thing, dude, I can just get on that road full speed. Just bah! and just, I mean, this thing just, I mean, it literally is just doing this the whole time, just moving up and down just a little bit, and it's just boogieing. With this, I feel like I got to do it like on, on. Um, uh, like roadways and stuff, I feel like I'm doing a little bit more input with this, surprisingly, on the King Song S18, uh, just for like road road riding. It's not uncomfortable, but um, I will say for just road cruising, for literally just like um, just easy bike trail stuff, cruising or whatever, this thing feels a little bit more weird than this. You know, it's not, um, I, wouldn't, I don't even know, it's like not weird is the way to say it. Um, it's just... This this is a machine that just wants you. You look for everything to try to pop off of. You look for every little trail. If you're road riding on this, you're looking for somewhere off road to hit, you know. Or at least for me, I'm looking for somewhere to um, something to jump off of, something to ledge to ride downstairs, something like that to have fun on all the time with this, you know, more so than anything. I mean, you can literally like even like loading docks and stuff like that. They would be fun to skateboard on, you know, like stuff like that. They'd be fun to skate. It's fun on the uh, on this wheel. With this one, um, the suspension all boils down to what you're buying this wheel for is you're getting a M Super like wheel, an M Super like wheel with with fast acceleration, um, with a good cruising speed, with a lot of batteries. You're getting an M Super like wheel that is more stable and more comfortable to ride on the roadway on um, on just terrible type. Um, uh, unpaved roads. I know a lot of you guys that live over overseas. I mean, we all live in places that have terrible roads. Um, but if you're one in particular where you live in a place where it's just like, okay, I'm getting beat up every time I'm going out on a hard actual unicycle. And this is it. You know, this is just if you want to just cruise, this thing is your cruiser, man. I I, I, just, I feel like I could uh, make lemonade and sell it while I was on this thing um, cruising around town. town. Uh, with this thing, you just want to play. Uh, just and everybody knows that. That's just kind of the difference. I love both of them. I really do. I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy both of these unicycles. Uh, this headlight on this thing. So 
both of them get a lot of looks but this one did get those looks like um so immediately the first place i went into the first store i went into the lady goes hey is that thing like is that thing fully allowed to go on the street is it like street legal just because of the way the headlights look you know just the way these headlights look the way this thing just looks super super robust you know it looks like it should have a license tag on the back of it you know and, and be sailing around town it does it performs incredible on the street this thing road rider go with the v11 go with it man absolutely uh more range um you aren't really going to be trying to lift this thing up by popping it off stuff you know hitting jumps or whatever um go with this wheel you know for sure for a little bit more range more batteries but if you're a guy that is um just looking for something fun, you know, something to add to the collection, to keep in the truck or something. If you if you want to go out and about, explore, you want to hit a little jump or something like that. A light wheel that you can like whip around. You know, you ha you're in control of this S18. This S18 is like, um, I mean, this is this thing is sweet. I love it. I love the S18 as well. But the S18 has a completely different place, a completely different time, and a completely different use. This is your farm cruiser bruiser right here. You know, this is what you really have fun with, um, uh, just hitting jumps or whatever. And this is this is gonna be the wheel that takes everything to the next level if they keep making um, wheels like this. Uh, this thing with an extra 10 more miles an hour of speed with it, and we're X game status. So we're not far away from it. You know, this is a, definitely a stepping stone. And uh, this right here is, is also, but uh, going down to s just nitty gritty specs of it, um, which one do I think is just more refined and better better feeling right off the bat? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think they're both pretty, they seem pretty solid. Both these wheels, the, the headlights on it are just fabulous. Everybody knows that. I don't need to beat a dead horse. The headlights are great. In motion, I'd say a little bit better. These ride next to each other at nighttime. I'll throw the clip in. It looks like a, uh, I mean, it looks like an automobile coming down the bike path for sure. So, uh, but the headlight on this thing is super, super sweet. Go, so turn this headlight on. Dude, just, I mean, it's just so bright. I usually ride with a uh, hand flashlight. I usually ride with my, um, this light always on actually on my helmet right here. So even if you're out and you get stuck and you're like, oh, I don't have any lights on me right now, I don't have any flashlights, you are squared away with this thing. You're good to go. Um, it's it's really cool. This thing, it seems, I mean, it's it, it, it's nice. It's a quality, a quality machine. Uh, the components all feel top notch on it, you know, it doesn't feel like they skimped. Uh, the shell feels like a, um, if you can, it feels like a uh, Z10 shell. You know, it feels exactly like this part right here feels like a 9 by Z10 shell. Exactly like it, it looks like it too. So, uh, and I think the Z10 was built very well. And I think that there, a lot of the quality from the Z10, and you can see it replicated in this wheel. Um, S18, I think it's made very well. As, I mean, th this thing just doesn't have a lot of plastic on it. You know, it's a lot of frame. This thing can take a heck of a beating, you know? Um, there might be some cosmetic damage or whatever, but I think the internal integrity, which matters the most in a wheel, um, more so than the cosmetics of it, uh, this has internal structure. You know, you have your pillars here. You got this exoskeleton in the back. You have internal structure in this that's not plastic. And a lot of wheels, I think, like, I mean, even in this, really, you're having um, some structure in here that's uh, just plastic, you know? With this, I kind of like the, the design where it's just plastic kind of clipped on to a, well, this is aluminum. This is going to be steel upgraded, so... I, th I feel like this is really cool in the way that it's just not just plastic, you know, you kind of have this exoskeleton that can really take a beating, you know. Um, and if there is cosmetic damage up here, whatever, I think buying individual panels is really cool where you can just clip off a panel right here and fix that. Say if this one's damaged, clip that off, fix that, you're good to go. Uh, really cool. I think that's really neat and, and it's easy to do. So, you know, you can have, you could literally have your crash panels for your, you could have your, your so you could have your crash set of panels, you know, for your hard riding or whatever that don't look as pretty. And then if you want to have your, you know, evening stroll 
go down the boulevard panels. You know, you could throw them there that are nice and clean and pristine. You can do that. I think um, well, you see the accessory page on Eagles right now. Just absolutely every accessory you need on there. If you guys need anything for your wheels, it's probably on eWheels. And you'll probably be able to get every single panel you need on this thing. So if you take a crash on it, you're like, oh, I got scratches on it. Boom, replace that bad boy. And I don't see these things being over, uh, I don't know. Probably, it would probably be like 75 bucks for a set, a full set of them, which would be bad. I don't know yet, but I think they definitely should have like panels you can get. And um, uh, I think this will be, the S18 will be a really easy wheel to customize. So if you want to do like a vinyl wrap on it, if you want to put like a vinyl wrap over these panels right there, you would be able to do it so easily because you can just clip them off of there, uh, put your vinyl wrap over it. That's what I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to get like a really cool looking vinyl wrap of a color. And it's also it would be like a protective of it. But um, that's what I want to do with my S18. Whenever I get my S18, that's going to be the wheel that I put I put some like money into. You know, I want to get an, an actual like a nice shock. Even though you don't have to, the suspension is great. I think uh, it'll be cool to really see what you can do with that wheel and show you all as well. I want to put like a really nice shock in that thing. Wrap it, vinyl wrap that thing. Add some really nice pads right here to my own. You know, um, not this stuff. This, the reason I left these pads on here and I didn't clean it, number one, I want to show y'all actually ride these things. You know, I'm not just BSing y'all on the review. I've had them out there cranking. I'm, I know these pads aren't pretty, but it gives you an idea of if you want to make these, if you, if you get these wheels, it gives you the template of what you need to cut out of whatever you, you choose. You know, if, if you, and I think customizing your own pads is the best way to go about it because you'll be able to really get the wheel to behave in the manner you want to, you know, just by, um, exercise and your creativity to, to make them, you know? So this kind of gives you an idea of where I thought you needed them. Definitely, if they, these weren't pre-production wheels and I owned them, I would design my own way. Definitely with this one, you know, because this is a sweet wheel. It just needs some way to grab onto when you pop up. You can jump this wheel, you know? You can, you, I mean, you can fly in the air on this thing. You get the right preload and then you get your feet under these little pads, man. In motion V11 soaring through the air, but I, I'd say the S18. I, I feel I just feel um, way more confident jumping the S18 and off-road trail riding on on um, like technical stuff on the S18. I feel uh, a little bit top-heavy. I feel a little bit top awkward on this thing whenever I'm show riding and I've put down miles on it. It's not that I've ridden the S18 more, and it's just not that I'm used to that wheel more. It's um, with this wheel, I just feel like uh awkward dude i feel awkward at um not when i'm road riding but i feel awkward trail riding at the, at the, at, in my upper body i feel like i really just can't like i don't know what it is there's something about this wheel and it's not jumping it you can jump this wheel fine straight straight on jump no problem but it's just that trail riding those corners that it's just I, and you know what i think it is i think it's the extra weight in this wheel that really just makes it awkward, you know? That's why the S18 is just so easy to throw around and whatever, and you lose a little bit of range, you know? And that's why I say street queen, street queen, street queen, and then trail king, trail king, trail king all day right here. I think I'm gonna go with the S18 just because that's that's my riding style, you know? That's what I like. With my M Super, I feel like um, on my road riding and stuff like that, I feel like it's not gonna be quite as comfortable as riding this thing, you know? It, it, of course, it won't be as comfortable riding this thing. I, I've experienced the absolute best uh, street riding wheel there is right here that's not a Speed Demon wheel. This is not a Speed Demon wheel, but it is a street cruising wheel, and it is the best. Uh, it's just preference, though. I have absolutely, there's nothing against either one of them. I love both these wheels. They're so much fun. Both of them are an absolute joy to ride, and I don't think anybody would be disappointed. I think I think if you got either one of these wheels, you absolutely cannot go wrong. And I think if you do choose one over the other, you know why you're choosing it. You know, you got your you got your reasons in the back of your mind. You know where you ride at. You know how you ride. I think with looking at the videos that are that are there with what's been provided, I think you can definitely make the right decision on, on these wheels. I don't think it's too complicated, you know? I think if you're 80% street riding, all day, right here. If you don't, if you aren't, if you want to take some trails, yeah, that's fun. Cranks trails, no problem. Probably smoother than 90% of wheels on trails. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But if you strictly want to ride like, I'd say like 80% dirt trails, you want to be the trail hero, you want to literally be like, 
you can hit technical stuff, you can drop, you can like rock crawl. Like this is trail master, man. Like if you want to do that, S18 all day, definitely. And it's it's only a hundred dollar difference on the two wheels. So, you know, if it's, it's really, I don't think money comes down to really choosing on it, you know? The link below guys takes you straight to eWheels. It is an affiliate link. It helps the channel. You can pre-order the V11, the Veteran Sherman, the S18, and get all of the latest wheels there. M Super Pros, all that stuff. Link below guys, I appreciate it. I'll see y'all in the next one.